So we had this discussion with David Drogba recently on the idea of creative, uh, what it's like. Uh, and I decided to make this video to, to sum up some points and also tell you whom I believe to be the ideal creative of today. Uh, so to me, the ideal creative uh, is an amateur. He comes from some other field, works his way up, uh, and uh, learns this creativity from inside. Because after all, you cannot teach creativity, but you can train it. Some people who study marketing PR uh, in the university, they make good clients, they make really good account managers, uh, but you can't teach creativity, so uh, the ideal creative is someone who comes from outside. The ideal creative is proficient in information technology, uh, because 90% of what we do today is digital, it's digital media, so the ideal creative knows how to use or even abuse it. The ideal creative is cause-driven. He is conscious about what he does to the media uh, environment around him uh, and he is conscious about which brands he works for and what these brands do to the media environment and humanity in general. So it's not just business, it's personal. The ideal creative is however never too serious about what he does in advertising. After all, he came here to have, to have fun and only then to make money. Uh, so, uh, the ideal creative uh, has the gut to be the fool and to do something uh, that might seem uh, stupid and funny to others. Because he knows that uh, what is stupid today may become the new norm tomorrow. The ideal creative is multidisciplinary, uh, like a Swiss knife. He can write headlines, he can code, he can uh, do print ads, he can edit videos, he can uh, uh, repair motorboats or weld. Or whatever else he thinks is uh, his creative uh, arsenal for today. He is more of an engineer and the explorer rather than the writer or the artist. So when the client comes and says, like, I need a headline, the ideal creative brings him uh, like the new features for his product or the idea for the new service. Nobody asks him, but he will. Last but not least, the ideal creative uh, uh, is really good uh, at self-promotion. Uh, I mentioned this uh, in my article, uh, Hey Applicants Get Creative Dammit, that if we are to be believed that we can solve uh, the client's problems with creative solutions, with creativity, we should first demonstrate how we can solve our own problems with creativity. So you might ask me, uh, does the ideal creative exist? I mean, is it a real person? Yes. And uh, that's Andrei Tukovkin from Moscow. I know Andre really well, uh, practically as good as I know myself. He's all of the things I've mentioned, and he's the one who inspired me to have this video in the first place. So you might ask, uh, why don't we hire Andre Tukovkin uh, at Sprintman Porter Bogusti? Well, frankly, I don't know. I, I believe we will. Uh, I, I really, I'm sure we will. Um, after all, we have this thing for people with the weird Slavic surnames like Bogaski, Skalevsky, Skubitz. So, uh, definitely we will uh, hire Andre, but for now he works uh, in publicist as an ECD. So, please go to his uh, website, theidealcreative.com, and check out his portfolio. And if you mention that uh, you learn about him from this video, or mention the uh, promo code Bogaski42, uh, you will get a free bottle of Russian vodka. I shit you not. Thank you, that was that. Um, be creative and see you soon in the woodshed. Take care.